We now uh, recognize Pastor Chen from the UK. Hello. Yes. Thank you for all of your invitation. Yeah. My name is Roy Chen, the former pastor of Good Neighbor North District Church in Hong Kong. During the social movement that began in June 2019, our church were committed to helping young people in need, such as setting up a Protect the Children volunteer team to provide human, humanitarian support at the demonstration site, providing employment and support, uh, food and psychological counseling to the needy. This is based on the Bible teachings. On December of 6, 2020, my church's charity account, as well as the personal accounts of me and my wife at HSBC were frozen. On the next day, the Hong Kong police prosecuted us for money laundering. They arrested the church accounting staff and resigned director and also issued a general order to me and my spouse. My church dis disbanded in May of this year with no money and danger of being blamed by NSL. And my wife and my family have been seriously affected since then. It is a pity that the Hong Kong government has acted similarly to the CCP using economic crimes to suppress the dissidents, anti-government people. Now we, we have to stay in the UK and at, at, uh, we're doing a church named Good Neighbor Church England. We, we help to speak up for the groups and places that are suffering under the oppression of the CCP. As today, the religion freedom in Hong Kong is being suppressed severally. Quite a number of pastors who support human rights and freedoms are moving to the UK from Hong Kong due to the NSL. One of the story, the former pastor, Remembrance of Grace Church pastor, Wing Xin Neung, has given, us, given speeches about the political situation in Hong Kong for a few years. After the impl implementation of NSL, he was notified after one gathering that he would be reported under the NSL. He has also been threatened a few times with people visiting his home. He had therefore decided to move to the UK in February this year to protect his family. Besides, the group Hong Kong Pastors Network has published the Hong Kong 2020 Gospel Declaration supporting the fight for the justice. After NSL has come into effect, this declaration has been accused by the state-owned media Ta Kung, Ta Kung Pao that it is tax is against the NSL. Then, Hong Kong Pastors Network has been disbanded in September of this in, in September this year. Not only my former church, Good Neighbor North Teacher Church, but another church, Alcalasia, Hong Kong, which has been actively very active, play active fighting for human rights and freedoms, was also disbanded disbanded in June this year. It is hence the second dis disbanded church under the effects of NSL. 
when it comes to NSL, church and individual would invite in would be have, have a great threat for the criminal liability and difficulties in getting resources allocated. This is what NSL affected affecting the Hong Kong religions and Christian. That's the, that's the, that is the end of my sharing. Thanks a lot. Thank you so very much, uh, Pastor Chan. And I'm so sorry for you and your congregation for the injury and the suffering you have endured. Um, but thank you for bearing witness to that, that truth here today. I'd like to